Hey everybody, Mr. Zed here, and welcome to my reading show. The book we will be reading today is called Small Sister by Jessica Meserve. Let's take a look at the back and see if there are any clues that we can gather about this story. Will Small always be stuck in her big sister's shadow? Hmm. Now that kind of reminds me of some of the conflicts that my girls have. We often have to remind them to be thankful for each other. And that's not always easy to um, recognize. It's not always easy to recognize why you're thankful for your sibling, especially if you're not getting along. Sometimes siblings cause the biggest conflicts in your house. Um, they get into your stuff, they might borrow things without being asked, and that, oh, that's been happening more uh, between my daughters. And uh, it's important for them to remember to be thankful and to try and get through the conflict in in respectful ways and so let us begin let's see if this conflict is resolved I'm gonna just read the liner the inside of this book gives us a few more clues and uh, right at the very bottom I'm gonna start reading from the last paragraph where it talks about the author before I read about the story. Um, so in her debut as an author and illustrator, Jessica Meserve has created a charming story that shows how big things can come in even the smallest of packages. Okay, now let's read from the top. Small and big are sisters, but big can jump higher. Big can run faster, and big will always be bigger. Small feels as if she'll never step out of her sister's shadow until she discovers there are some things big can't do, but small can. Oh, wow. Um, I found out I had a brother when I was 12. And he was six. We didn't live together, but we spent a lot of time with each other over the years playing catch. I, I wasn't too nice to him at first, and I soon learned as he got bigger that I needed to be nice to him because he um, started defending himself. And thankfully, I learned my lesson before he became the same size as me. And now we are the same size. So that's not always the case as far as what the introduction said about um, big always being bigger. Sometimes the smaller sibling will grow up to be uh, a bigger size. <clears throat> but anyway, let's continue. It's not always about size. Just remember to be respectful to your family members. What goes around comes around. So let kindness go around from your words and actions. Let's begin. Small had a problem. She was stuck in Big's shadow. Small tried to jump higher, but Big was bouncier. Small tried to escape, but Big was faster. And Big always got the best presents.
Sometimes, Big tried to scare Small. One day, Big made Small very angry. So Small did something very mean. Big's parrot flew away. But when Big found out, Small felt even smaller. The next day, Small decided to leave. Nobody noticed. Small was free. She tried to feel happy, but she was too lonely. High in the tree, Small saw Big's parrot. Low on the ground, Small saw Big. Big was too scared to climb the tree. Small wasn't scared. Small felt brave. Small felt big. Small felt very happy. And best of all, Small was no longer stuck in Big's shadow. All right. That seems like a very happy ending. And it looks like Big even learned how to climb a tree as well, seeing that it wasn't too bad if, if he stays safe and within your limits. And it's nice to recognize the, uh, the skills or abilities, skills and abilities that your sibling have. And so just remember to look for ways that you can appreciate um, the other people in your family. All right, that's it for now. I hope everybody has a great day. And until we read again, I'll see you later.